Hello and welcome to another episode of What Travis Says. My name is Travis, let's talk about Doctor Who. More specifically, let's talk about Sutek the Destroyer. Sutek was an Osiren, a race of very intelligent humanoids who had psychic abilities. Physical and mental projection, telepathy, mind control, possession. The Osirens included Anubis, Osiris, Ra, Egyptian gods. Also in Egyptian mythology, Sutek was one of the names for the god of the deserts, Set. And in Doctor Who, all of these Egyptian gods were Osirens. The Osirens built pyramids on Mars and Earth as power receivers to channel energy to Osiren technology. And there were many Osirens, but Sutek the Destroyer was in a league entirely of his own. Sutek was the head of security for the Osiren court, but he had this bit of a paranoia where he thought that somewhere, life would just rise up and challenge him. And because of this fear, he caused the near extinction of the Osirens siren race by destroying his home world. Sutek is kind of like Frieza. If Frieza would have destroyed his own home world instead of the Saiyan's home world. But anyway, the remaining Osirens understandably weren't that happy with Sutek's actions. So the 740 Osirens who survived the destruction of the planet quartered Sutek on Earth and defeated him. Sutek was placed in a pyramid tomb prison of sorts on Earth and with the Eye of Horus beaming a signal all the way from Mars, Sutek's powers were suppressed and he could not leave his prison. Now that all happened around 5000 BC, so the idea is that these aliens came and had this big battle and defeated Sutek and the Egyptians went on to believe that they were gods. Now moving forward to the year 1911, archaeologist Marcus Scarman accidentally releases Sutek. Kinda. Not knowing what the chamber was that he was about to enter, Scarman was blasted with a beam of green light. That green light was from Sutek the Destroyer. Now, Sutek could not leave the pyramid. The Eye of Horus was still beaming a signal from Mars and suppressing his power. But Sutek kills and reanimates Scarman's body as a way to attempt to get rid of the Eye of Horus, so he can escape. Scarman and these mummy robot workers plan to send a missile to Mars to destroy the Eye of Horus, but their plan is foiled by the Doctor and Sarah Jane. However, during the foiling, Sutek is able to place the Doctor under his control. The Doctor takes Scarman and some of the robot mummy servants to Mars using the TARDIS, where they actually succeed in destroying the Eye of Horus, which releases Sutek from his pyramid prison. Kinda. The Doctor, released from Sutek's possession, jumps back into the TARDIS, goes back to Earth, and does something a bit wibbly-wobbly. You see, the Doctor defeats Sutek by using a time corridor to delay his trip a bit. Or, as the Doctor so eloquently calls it, the Corridor of Eternity. The Doctor moved to the threshold of the corridor far into the future, so Sutek, try as he might, can never exit the corridor. The Doctor ends up telling Sarah Jane that Sutek lived 7,000 years before his body perished. But Sarah Jane is still a little confused. How did the Doctor have time to stop Sutek from coming out of the doorway if Sutek was released by the Eye of Horus? Why couldn't he have just left? But you see, the distance of radio waves from Mars to Earth is about two minutes. So, the Doctor had two minutes before the Eye of Horus actually released Sutek. As characters, Sutek and the other Osirens tie Doctor Who and Egyptian mythology together in a way that actually makes some sense. Many people believe that aliens actually visited Earth long ago and humanity recorded their interactions with these beings, which is why we have such wonderfully detailed encounters with these mythological beings. And the great thing about Sutek is that he hits all of the quintessential characteristics of a great Doctor Who villain. He's an alien, he's intelligent, he's well aware of how powerful he is, and he is calm. And despite wearing his mask most of the time, I feel that Sutek is one of the creepiest looking Doctor Who villains. Sutek threatens to shred the Doctor's nervous system into a million fibers for his insolence. He calls the Doctor an ant, a termite, a groveling insect. Evil? Your evil is my good. I am Sutek the Destroyer. Where I tread, I leave nothing but dust and darkness. I find that good. But going by powers and strength alone, Sutek could easily defeat a Time Lord. Sutek has even boasted that he could keep his victims alive for centuries, causing them to feel excruciating pain. He could turn people into puppets at will, causing them to do his bidding, even ones with psychic abilities. And Sutek can even focus his abilities through his possessed servants, like the ability to burn other people just by touching them. And it's because Sutek is so powerful and calm
calm that the doctor defeating him is that much more satisfying. I mentioned Frieza earlier, but Sutek is also kind of like Marvel's Apocalypse. Not, not the movie version though. Despite his body dying in that corridor of eternity, Sutek actually does return when his consciousness is placed into a new body. This happens in the audio adventures. Then Sutek goes back in time to try to change events in order to destroy humanity. But the doctor ends up tricking him into thinking that he's successful by showing him a solar flare from the 29th century. And in doing so created a time loop where Sutek is stuck reliving the same moments. And in doing so created a time loop where Sutek is stuck reliving the same moments. And in doing so created a time loop where Sutek is stuck reliving the same moments. Okay, all right, that's, that's enough of that. And on the DVD for Pyramids of Mars, there's a pseudo documentary, a sort of mockumentary about Sutek landing the role in this Doctor Who adventure and then his life after fame. It's not anything exciting or amazing, but it's, it's kind of entertaining. Fun fact, Gabriel Wolf, the voice actor for Sutek, actually went on to also voice the Beast in Doctor Who, another devilish villain. In the comments down below, let me know your thoughts on Sutek, and would you like to see Sutek return to the show in any sort of fashion, and how would you see that happen? How would you want Sutek to return? As always, my name is Travis, thank you for listening to what I have to say, and you will see me tomorrow.